let's take a look in today's episode we remember freedom fighter panampilli govind menon who died on the 23rd of may 1970 menon actively participated in the vikom satyagraha he joined praja mandalam and took part in the boycott movements in kerala menon was born in trichur kerala on the 1st of october 1908 even as a student menon was involved in politics and actively participated in the anti caste struggle of vikom satyagraha in kerala He joined the Praja Mandalam as he got more involved in politics and later joined the Indian National Congress. Menon served as a member of Kerala Pradesh Congress Committee and the All India Congress Committee. A lawyer by profession, Menon was elected to the Cochin State Legislature twice in 1935 and 1938. He resigned from the post in 1942 to protest the repressive policy of the Cochin government. Menon was re-elected again to the Legislative Assembly of Cochin in 1945. He served as the Food Minister of Cochin in 1946 and as the Chief Minister of the then State of Cochin in 1947. Menon represented the princely State of Cochin in the Constituent Assembly. With the formation of Travancore Cochin State in 1949. Menon became the finance minister in 1952. He also served as the chief minister of Travancore Cochin State. He was elected to the Lok Sabha in 1962 and served as the minister of food, agriculture, community development and cooperation. He held portfolios of the Ministry of Railways, Ministry of Law and Social Welfare and was also the law minister of India in 1967. Menon played various roles in public affairs and was known for advocating for the underprivileged and for improving the status of teachers. He represented India in various international conferences and continued to serve the nation till his death in 1970. We salute the great nationalist. On 23rd of May 1947, the British cabinet agreed to India's then Governor General Lord Mountbatten's horrific plan. of partitioning a great civilizational nation of india lord mountbatten arrived in india on the 22nd of march 1947 after consulting indian leaders he made a plan known as dicky bird plan and sent lord ismay his chief of staff with the plan on the 2nd of may to london which was approved by the british cabinet under this plan the british would transfer power to two successor authorities the congress and the muslim league In territorial terms the dominions of India and Pakistan would remain within the British Commonwealth British paramountcy over 559 princely states in India would not be transferred to the two dominions and consequently would lapse constitutionally the princely states would be free to join either of the two dominions the third option of them becoming independent and not joining either dominion was kept open Indian leaders opposed the plan as they felt it would balkanize India allowing many little nation states to emerge we also remember Hanuman Singh who took part in the first war of independence in 1857 initially Singh was serving the English East India Company army but left it to join hands with the independence activists well at this point of time let's cut across live